I gotta spend my storm coins. Gotta spend them today. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Gotta spend my storm coins. And we're gonna go with Storm Legacy this time. I'm hesitant to try it, but I'm gonna try it. Alright, so we have eggs, we have CP, we have XP potions, and then we have gold. I don't really care about the gold and the pet potions, but we need we need to have a baseline here. All right, so we've got 120 eggs, 29 CP. Pet potions are completely useless to me, though it is part of the content, so I just wanna see what we're dealing with here. Consumables, is it in here? 926202. I wish I could sell these. And then gold, we have 12544. All right, so I, I, I believe, I still believe that buying the pet Soulstone chest is the right thing to do. So let's take a look at this objectively. 92,000, 92, not 92,000. I can get 92 of these. It's 460. So 460 is how much pet soul stones of the pet that I want. You get an average of three, so 153 eggs, 153.3. You get an average of three soul stones per egg randomly, right? Sometimes you can get one, sometimes you can get 10. So if I can get 154 pet eggs out of these Storm Legacy chests, then you could argue that it's a close value, not a better value, but you still get the, the chaos particle. So my guess is that I'm gonna get some amount of eggs, chaos particles, XP potions, and gold. I'm not gonna get 154 eggs, right? And the trade-off there is I'm gonna be getting more chaos particles. Now I see the argument, I see the argument, especially for people that don't have any absolute star pets. 122. I definitely see the argument there. Chaos particles are important. Gold is on some level important still. You are still getting pet soul stones out of the eggs, but I have the totals written down here. Let's go. We're going to get more Storm Legacy chests, so this is going to take a couple of openings. Let's see what happens here. Okay. All right. So we got exactly 8 million gold. 183, 120. So we got 63 eggs. Got 63 eggs. I had 120, 63 eggs. Chaos particles, I got 1,600. That's a good amount. That's a good amount. And pet XP potions, it looks like I got about 4,000. So 63, so I got about 189 pet soul stones. Random. I got about 189 pet soul stones. It could skew a couple, you know, a little bit uh, either direction but you get about three soul stones per egg. 189 compared to 460 of my choice. I don't know. Evolving your pets, is that a better situation than promoting the color rank of your pets? 1600 chaos particles. It's 11,200 emeralds worth. Every chaos particle is worth seven emeralds. So is 11,200 emeralds worth of chaos particles a better value than about 300 pet soul stones of your choice? You will have enough soul stones for all pets before you have enough CP. The emerald conversion is misleading. Unless you actually spend emeralds to color rank your pets. Uh, you know, that's a fair statement. Yeah, yeah, we're only given value to currency if we give value to currency. Very fair. So I saw the statement from Jiv that you will have enough soul stones for all pets before you have enough chaos particles. Just by random opening of eggs here and there. And by the way, you should only save 80 eggs at a time. Open, I shouldn't open them on a biscuit day, but here we are. I've never gotten a grand prize pet before, so I don't expect to get a grand prize uh, biscuit. I opened more than I should have there. So I got 20, 40, um, 58. 1,600 chaos particles is about eight days worth. Fair enough. Fair enough. What is a grand prize pet? It's an absolute star pet. Absolute star pet. Changes every day. Changes every day. I don't know. I don't know. And just like that, it's gone. Just like that, it's gone. I can see the argument both ways. I can see it both ways. I don't think either of them are wrong. 